revenge is oh so sweet. The 1990 grand final between Hobart, beaten in the previous year, and their opponents North Launceston. The Tigers were keen to taste that flavour of success and the 22nd day of September 1994 was their day. It was a real tragedy for North Launceston. Stephen Golding was looking after the troops, but unfortunately he didn't see much of the game. It could work to Kremis Coven. He'll tap it to Steve Golding. Marching in the hopper shoot. Doesn't catch him. High kick. Golden off the chance. Golding's injured his knee. He's in real trouble. Jim, that spells bad news for the Robins, and he is in real strife. Steve Golding is screaming for the trainers to get to him. Oh, that's terribly bad luck for, for Steve Golding. Oh, I just can't believe it. Terrible luck for the, for the Robins. The long bomb, a battle between Pettit and Proctor. Oh. Free kick going here to Proctor. Pushed out. North Launceston goals have come from 50 metre penalties and Hobart's goal has been a free kick to Roberts and there's another one. So the third to North Launceston and the absence of Steve Golding may be firing the Robins up because they've got a handy break. The vacant goal, goal square, winter in front is lurking. He can kick a goal and he has! That's a sensational kick from Michael Winter. The Tigers are in front. What a snapshot for goal by Winter. But Hobart have kicked the first two goals of this second quarter and that man's done it all. He's kicked another one. That is a sensational bit of footy from Winter. Here they come again, the Northerners. They're not going to give up. Up towards Dunkley or Spearman. Comes to Dunkley. Oh, you wouldn't want to have your house on this one. But he's kicked it. Andrew Dunkley has put it through. Scores were level at Lemon Time, but the Tigers had the breeze at their back in the final term. Way down to the wire, Bruce Pacer went out here and Hall's got a ton of that and look at the racehorse go, he backs himself with a bounce. Marchand can kick another one here. He's got his eyes set on a goal, it's not far away, he's put it through! Inspirational plays in towards centre half forward, winner in front, both doors locked in, some players drop back. Hobart players spoil it, Walsh kicks a goal! Here it comes again, Dale Hall kick a goal on the siren, son. That's exactly what he's done, he's threaded another one through. It's raining goals for Hobart. The Tigers were terrific. Ten goals in the final term and they won the flag by 58 points. Someone who starred throughout the match was the winner of the Darrell Bulldog medal, Michael Winter. Seven goals. It's just the greatest sense of relief I think I've ever had after getting our asses kicked last year. I was just, you know, just so keen to come back and make up for it. You know? Where did you win the game? Oh, just 20 contributors, mate. That's all it is. But when the scores are level at three-quarter time and you've, you've had a finals run like we have, it's just a bloody fantastic effort by the boys to get there. You know? There's 20 contributors, that's all it was. Is that one?